Hi everybody, my name's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I um, had just started recording this and realized that the whole time I was recording, I did not even push record. So there's that. So um, basically for today, I have my club, I have a small haul, and I have um, Harry Potter. So, and the whiff box is in my club. So that's what I'm gonna go over today. I'm gonna try to make it so it's not too long, but I wanna just do it all in one video just because that's easier for me. Um, if you don't, it'll be in sections. So if you don't want to listen to any of the other stuff, you were just looking for Harry Potter, you know, or whatever, just fast forward and find it. I do no editing with my videos. So, you know, so this first part that I want to do is a small haul that I got and I had six bars that I wanted to get at the last minute. Um, some that I didn't try from fall and winter that are done now. And then, um, so a few from bringing back my bar because that ended. So... Let me see, I will show you these first six. This first one is Casting Spells. This is Apple Drizzle, Roasted Pears, and Cinnamon Bark. It was a scent of the month in 2016. I smelled this, somebody else had it, so I smelled it and I thought it smelled interesting, so I will get it. I wanna at least say I tried it. I had it in two warmers um, downstairs and it did fill up my whole downstairs, which my downstairs isn't very big. It seems to in the winter time, I really get a good um, throw out of my scents. So to me, this was strong. Um, I had it going for two evenings. So like when I came home from work, I had it all evening till from like five to 10, 11 at night, two nights in a row. I finally took it out. You could probably still smell it some, but I was just kind of sick of it. I think really what I'll do is I feel like it's more of a um, Halloween, October type scent. So I will probably just keep these last six cubes until then and warm it around that time. I get a really strong hint of that pear. There's something just different in this one. It's okay. I'm very glad I tried it. I don't love it. I don't hate it. You know, one of those type. Um, the other one I got, okay, here I got Pink Haze. And this smells beautiful. This is vanilla laced whipped cream, marshmallow, nectarines, and sweet berries. So this to me is a very light body care, really light pink color of wax. It smells like it's gonna be super light, but it does smell really beautiful. Um, with all those, you can, th those scents, I mean, scent notes are amazing. So that one, where to me, I feel like it's gonna be light, I still think it'll be pretty and I'll put it in one of the hotter warmers, element warmers I have in my bathroom and I bet it'll do pretty good. Okay, Mandarin Moon. This one I really enjoyed um, is Spirited Cinnamon Glowing Ginger Illuminated by Sweet Orange and Star Anise. Now I love um, orange scents. I love mostly anything with anise in, which is a type of a licorice and Star Anise is like a, well, it's a, a licorice smelling scent, okay? It's not, um, anise isn't actually licorice, but it um, smells like licorice, okay? And star anise is a spicier type of anise. So this, um, I really enjoyed. I had it in one of these um, 25, this is a 25 watt bulb warmer. I don't know, that looks like it's a little off center there, but so it has a little glass dish and I had one in here and one in my kitchen and it did a pretty good job, but it probably only lasted about 12 hours. So probably two evenings I did it. And when I took it out of the warmer, I couldn't smell it at all. So to me, these orange scents don't last very long in any orange that I've tried. And I'll tell you though, I did, I got thunderstorm and I had that in the night sky warmer in the entryway. And these two scents together, I thought would be really good. So that was a good combination. It smelled lovely. So I, I, I don't know if this will be a repurchase just because of how it didn't last very long, but I did really enjoy it. So I do have it in my club, maybe one more round. I don't know, I really like it, but I'm not sure. I also picked up Midnight Fig because I love fig scents. I love earthy scents. And I thought I have to at least give this a try. So it is that, it's earthy ripe figs and golden berries tempered by musky woods. I love all of that. So musk, woods, and the deep, I love deep rich scents. I did, I have one cube right now going. 
and I have this in a bedroom just because I like to try scents in that bedroom because I can get the full idea of what a scent smells like better if I put it in a smaller area and then I'll know too if I need it in a bigger area or how it'll go. This to me, I, I don't know. It smells earthy. It's okay. It's musky and earthy. It's nothing great. I, th I don't know. Maybe if you threw in like a toasted marshmallow to sweeten it up. It's pretty. Like, look how pretty that packaging is too. But I don't, I don't know if I'll keep it. I mean, I'll keep this obviously, but I don't know. I don't think I'll keep it in my club. I'll get rid of it. Because I threw these in my club in case I love them. Um, now, these other two are ones I didn't get to try from fall and winter that I wanted to try to see if I'd want them in my club. And the one that I kept wanting to add and kept forgetting is butter pecan, pecan, however you say it. <laughs> I absolutely love this. I have two cubes going today and I'm so glad. I love butter pecan ice cream. It's really weird. Sometimes I say butter pecan, sometimes butter pecan. I thought I wrote this down. Maybe I didn't, but I know that it was in, it's in this uh, catalog. So I like to hear scent descriptions. So I'll go ahead and see what we have here. It's probably gonna be in the bakery and I'm worried it won't come back. And I thought I better at least try it. If fall had a flagship fragrance, this blend of candied pecan and maple folded with butter would be a strong contender. So I get the maple, I get butter, nut, um, you know, it's definitely, it's a beautiful scent, really good bakery scent. I love it. I have it going with Kona Coffee right now from um, Hobby Lobby, and I'm really, really enjoying this. This will stay in my club just in case it doesn't come back. So that's Butter Pecan. I love it. And clove and cinnamon is red hots and spicy cinnamon. Cloves, which they it says cloves and then it says red hots. I love the smell of cloves. Some people don't, I do. Like, do you remember that gum? I think there was a gum that tasted like it. It's an older type gum. Wait, this one doesn't wanna come out. Well, I, oh, there we go. I like to smell the bottom part of the bar. Yeah, I think you definitely get the red hots. This is gonna be a really nice scent, I think. So I'm glad I put this in my club. I'll try it um, here within the next couple days just to be sure to see if I like it. So that was that, um, the, the bars that I picked up in that little haul. I also picked up for a friend of mine, I thought this scent was going away also in the body line and it didn't but I thought it was. So she hurried up and bought four of these. These are the fra fragrance mists. And this is actually the first time I've seen these. They're a little bit smaller than I thought, kind of they're 4.2 ounces, but um, she absolutely loves this. And she wanted to hurry up and get some. So she ordered four of them before they went away. So then I also thought, well, I'm gonna pick up some scent packs because these are always good to have multiple uses for these. And I buy my grandkids the, um, the buddies and these go inside of them. So I thought, well, I'll pick these up and if I don't use them, I'll give them to them for refills. So I got Just Breathe and um, this is like a mint. I think there might be some citrus in there. Apple Cherry Strudel, which I absolutely love. So I got that in the scent pack. This is in my club, the scent in the bar. I love that and I love Silver Bells. So I thought I'll pick that up in the scent pack. So. I got this. So that was that small haul. One thing I do want to show you that I came upon that I could not believe this is not Scentsy, but I'm just going to sneak this in here because I was like, whoa, we went to Ollie's. It's a bargain outlet that we have here in um, Altoona. Let me just take a sip. And they'll have different Yankee candles. Some of it's the Yankee that's, um, um, Yankee home or something, which to me is not the same. But I found this scent, and look at that price. Hopefully it focuses there, $1.99. So 
So this is the style of Yankee melts that you find like in grocery stores or different places. And this smell, I think I've talked about it before, but when I first um, encountered this scent was last summer in the Yankee store, which ours just closed. And I smelled it and I was like, ugh, why would anybody want a candle in that? It was terrible. In fact, I smelled it like three times because I thought surely I'm, I don't know, something's weird here. So then I got to talking with the store clerk and she said, have you tried that one? I'm like, oh, I just feel like it smells awful. And I like to get the scent cups because I have a warmer that you just sit the scent cup in. She said, trust me, try it. She said, it gets like a bakery smell. So the first time I tried it, I went, I put it in my bedroom and I left, came back and I was like, oh no, I shut it off. Well, then I thought, you know what? A couple days later, I bought it. I'm going to turn it on again. It turned into something that I'm addicted to now. It's totally, it's like, it, it takes on like a bakery type of smell after a while. And it's a smell that I just can't seem to get enough of. One of those that, you know, you just don't want to be without. And it's, it's almost like the natural smell of the outside of a coconut mixed with maybe a warm sugar type scent. I don't know, but I absolutely love it. And so I bought four of these. I wish I, I probably should have bought more, but I thought, you know, where am I gonna find it again? You can't, you can find the candle um, online now. I think it's clearanced but I'm not as big into candles, so, but I guess you, I could chop that up the candle. I think a lot of people chop their candles. Okay, so I am going to now go to my club haul. Sensi pack stuff in a crap ton of paper. So I'm sorry for the noise. But the one thing I can say about that paper is if you have stuff to wrap, like, you know, dishes you want to put away, dishes you're getting rid of, mugs you want to put away because they're seasonal, whatever. That's good paper. Just cut it up, wrap it. Um, you can find different uses for it. Fire starters outside in the summertime for your bonfires. So first I'll go through my bars and I will try to make this quick for you. I'm sorry. I don't know how much time people want to spend and they always have your bars a lot of times in another box. <laughs> they package things wonderfully. Occasionally, I don't know about you guys, I've gotten bars though that were just, looked like they were tossed in and they break a little bit. And now look, we have more paper, paper upon paper. Let me just throw that down here. Hopefully the dogs don't get it. And we will start tackling these. There's a few in here that I haven't smelled because the nice thing about Scentsy Club is, well, there's a couple things. So there's perks with always get my bar. So if you have a bar that you love, that you're afraid it's gonna go away and never come back, throw it in your club. Um, you can keep getting it. It For as long as you have it in your club, Scentsy will keep making it. So that's one of the things I love about it. I play around with my club all the time. I'll think, you know what? I have enough of this one scent. I need to get rid of it get something else. Let's be real here. How much am I warming it? There's a few I've taken out that I've, I'm like sad about because I don't know if they'll come back because like bring back my bars and stuff too, especially may not ever come back. So I also use it to throw things in that like Disney scents or new releases, like limited time that I want to try and just don't get um, around to trying. I'll throw them in there. After you reach, I think, $30, you get 10% off of everything. And at 60, you get a half price item. So check out the Sensi Club. Um, if you have a consultant with Sensi, ask her about it. If you don't have one, I'd be happy to help you. So let me know. So, okay. First one, um, this is out right now. This is one you could actually get now. It's It's Love. It's one of the Valentine's bars. Um, I really, really like this one. Um, so I was happy to see um, that I, sometimes in those collections, you're not really sure, but this one, ooh, I loved. And I never thought I was a big fan of fruity scents. I always thought it was bakery, definitely no floral. And I've really changed um, over the years, I guess. But it's love is, um, it's got tangerine, raspberry, and sugar. 
and oh, it smells like fruit punch and oh, exactly like Hawaiian punch with um, you know what actually it smells like Hawaiian punch but it smells more like Hawaiian punch that you go to a birthday party and get and somebody poured a bottle of Sprite in it that's really what it smells like so it's love is gorgeous um, okay Looney Tunes I have not tried and I wanted to make sure that I got it so I kept it in my club here and I will try it and if I don't like it then I can take it out of my club because I'll have time to take it out before so let me see I think this is like apple juice oh where did I oh yeah it's a nostalgic Saturday morning splash of apple juice ripe red berries and sugar cherry so super cute really love the orange mm, I don't know I like that I do I like it mm. oh that underside here a lot of, like I said always flip your bar I get a little bit of the apple on top. That underneath part is, that's the sugar cherry. Yep, that's the cherry. That's beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to warm this. I think this is gonna be really good. Okay. Okay, Fearless by Nature. This is the Sven Scent Frozen 2. I have not tried this bar yet. I threw it in my club. I did smell it in the scent pack. And this one is, let's see the notes on that. I wrote all these down, guys, because I love to, but I, I you know, to be able to say what they are. Okay, so then I can't find where I put them. <laughs> Brave the journey with unwavering loyalty, traversing wildflowers and sage as you navigate the woods. So this one, oh wow. This smells like a type, kind of a body wash. Alexa, turn down. This smells like a men's body wash. The bar smells a little bit different, I think, than the scent pack. Mm, that's a gorgeous scent. I'm really looking forward to trying that one. If you have this one, let me know what you think. If you have any of those, the Looney Tunes, the Fearless by Nature. Okay, so let's go to, I fell in love with this bar. It's actually the only bar I have from the Villains Collection. The only bar I've ever tried. And that is Dark and Devious. First of all, that picture is awesome. But I love really um, deep, exotic scents. And this one has black pepper, star anise. Um, let me see, I did write this down. Cinnamon hemlock smoked absinthe and absinthe is actually like a licorice flavored um it's an alcohol and they flavor it with like licorice and oh, i don't know what it is about this there is a smokiness which is probably the smoked absinthe literally it says um one of the descriptions here in the description it says Black pepper, star anise, and cinnamon stir up a plot with smoked absinthe and ancient hemlock for the ultimate revenge. So I literally picture somebody making a concoction and I just love it. Like, mm. I can't take this out of my club. More than likely the villains, I think the villains will probably come back every so often. But, Oh, if it doesn't, I'll be super sad. So I have a few bars of this. The thing is, it's a heavy scent. So I'm probably not going to warm it all the time. It's definitely something I'll warm more October, you know, that type of thing. But oh, I'm so afraid to be without it. Okay. Um, another one. Now, this is um, one like I had to pick. Which one from Halloween Town do I want? And uh, Or from the Nightmare Before Christmas. And Halloween Town is the one that is my absolute favorite this again i think these will come back but because they have so many things in them but nothing is guaranteed so this was the one that i kept in my club that i definitely did not want to be without and this is cranberry apple and spiced cedar wood this is a unique scent that's the thing like about some of these like this one i've never smelled anything like it and i'm so afraid that I won't be able to smell anything like it again. So I have it in my club. 
it won't go out of my club, at least until I see if it's coming back. So love that one. This was um, a fall in the three pack, the Harvest Collection, Toasted Acorn and Oak, another scent that I absolutely fell in love with. It's Toasted Acorn, Creamy Chestnut. You really get that Creamy Chestnut in there. And it's over Golden Oak. It says it brings warmth to a crisp evening. What's weird to me though, when I say you'll never get things that smell alike, these two smell very similar to my nose, yet they don't have any, well, they have the cedar, they have cedar wood, or let's see, this has cedar wood, this has oak. I don't know. Something about these two, they smell similar. I love it. I really, you really get more of a nuttiness though with this, definitely because of the oak, the acorn, all of that. I love that one. And that is a super strong performer. All of those, those three that I showed you just previous are super strong performers. Okay. Uh, Joy and Wonder, this one was from the um, holiday collection, the three pack. And this was the one I love the best. Another deep, dark, rich scent. It has red currant and black raspberry and cinnamon stick. This one is a more of a perfumier in a way type of scent but it's a really rich uh deep scent to me it was the best one out of those i love it i'm sorry i can't help but smell them and i know that's going to make this video long but i i just have to it's like when you get your club this is like christmas so excuse me i it's so exciting to me okay let's see one that i just recently warmed here um because i thought i do have to use some of these up I may take it out of my club just because I have to make cuts and I have several bars and that is coffee tree. This is coffee beans with a touch of hazelnut. Really simple. Look how pretty, but it has a unique smell. Again, that's the thing. It has a unique smell to me, but I, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. This one um, actually gets a little bit perfumey in a way, if that makes any sense. Okay, so these two I'm going to save for last. Okay, so Shut Eye. This was from the Catching Z's Wax Collection. I only saved, I think, two of these that I left in my club. So Shut Eye is Fuzzy Peach, Jasmine, and Cedar. And again, this is a beautiful, unique scent that I really love. I really like these for the bathroom. And to me, they last a long time along with um, this one is Sleep Happy, which I think, look at the color of it. How beautiful is that? It's a really light, like mint green. And I think that this smells like palm olive, the green palm olive dish soap. It's uh, Drift to Dreamland where delicate violet and bergamot rest on musk clouds. Now it's interesting that there's bergamot. I don't smell the bergamot, which is a citrusy scent, more like a lime, and I don't smell that. I think I smell the jasmine more, but it's super light and beautiful. I just love it. Oh, this is another one of my favorites. Aladdin Three Wishes. This is a blueberry scent, but it's got juicy blueberry, sugar plums, ripe blackberry, bursting over sparkling cranberry. So you have a bunch of fruits and it's gorgeous. It's like a sweet tart with the blueberry and it smells so good and to me it's such a great performer it just lasts and lasts and lasts i love it even in my mini warmers it's so so good olaf warm hugs now he i may give him the boot uh, i love olaf <clears throat> i think this is super cute the packaging i love it but he's super light and you definitely you can't do olaf in an open area <clears throat> losing everything here guys um look at that pretty like powder blue color mm. this is a little smells body care to me like a really light body care and he's cool mint snow covered woods and warm vanilla i get the mint and the vanilla and what i like about this one is they didn't throw any citrus in with that vanilla it's just simple vanilla and mint it's so good but it's very, very light. Like I said, you need this definitely in a smaller area. So since I have this bar and I think I have some of another bar left, mm, he may go. Another one of my favorites here is NHL Fresh Ice. And this one, I love the description of this. 
cold air and icy mint face off at full strength while a slap shot of sandalwood bring home the wind. You can smell the coolness. If you've ever been to a hockey rink, like my kids played hockey and it smells like an ice hockey rink, minus um, the feet and stuff that you smell sometimes when you're going in. <laughs> but that sandalwood, um, sandalwood is a really rich, um, sweet floral wood. And you really smell the sandalwood on the back end. So that's really what it kind of comes in at the end, the sandalwood part. You're first going to get that icy mint. So that cold, you can smell the coolness in it. I love it. Okay. Now these next two are ones that I added in a, my club to be able to get from the bring back my bar. This one sounds like it'll be right up my alley because I love incense smells. And this is rock and roll with an electrifying blend of earthy patchouli, glowing sandalwood, there's that sandalwood again, and bold pink pepper harmonized with sweet tobacco flower. All of those things sound amazing to me. I've never smelled this. That's Hendrix. You see the guitars on there? How cool is that? This green color. Oh, wow. So this is like you walked into a store that's burning incense. So I get the patchouli and the sandalwood, but I definitely get that sweet tobacco flower. You get a little, like if somebody that smokes a pipe. So that is wonderful. Oh, wow. There was a store at one place that I lived. Uh, it was a small town I lived in. And it was actually, I was always a little scared to go in there because I, they actually sold like crystal balls and stuff, like for people who practice witchcraft. But they had all kinds of herbs, like all kinds of stuff, you know, and incense stuff and that. This reminds me of that store. It really does. It almost has a minty. I don't know what I'm smelling there. Maybe it's the patchouli, which I love patchouli. Oh, I'm so glad I got this. I cannot wait to warm this. This will definitely be getting warm soon. And then the last one that I had thrown in my club is Southern Evening. Beautiful, beautiful midnight blue navy wax. Oh, how gorgeous is that? So this, Oh, I think I'm gonna love it. It says a trace of perfume lingering sweetly in her wake. This romantic twirl of French lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk will prove an enchanting escape. What I was wondering is if this would smell like Midsummer's Night. Um, I don't know why. I guess because it was the same color and Southern Evening, Midsummer. I don't know. Because um, that's one of my favorite Yankee scents ever. It actually doesn't really. It has a little bit of that, which might be the musk. I definitely pick up the geranium, which is beautiful. And the sweetness, I hope that, smelling it right here on cold, I don't feel like it'll be headache inducing, but I don't know. If you've ever tried this, let me know, but I think this is gonna be wonderful. Oh, I'm gonna have a hard time, I think this, if this performs well, and I really like it, this will probably stay in my club. Same with this, at least for a few rounds. Okay, so that is actually my club. Then I have my half price item, which is the whiff box. So we'll do that really quick. Let me just get these bars back in here. So right now we're already at a half hour, but I love, I love this talking about this wax with you guys, so. I hope you don't mind me putting these videos all in one. Okay, so we will move this out of the way. And this whiff box, you do not have to get in a club. This is how it comes. There's uh, two sizes, I think, of the whiff box. This is the bigger one. They're different every month. It's like a subscription. 
So if you like subscription boxes, this one is $30, but in my club, I pick it as my half price item because personally, I feel like it's the best bang for my buck. Some people like use the laundry, so they'll pick the laundry, you know, the most expensive laundry thing, they'll get that half price. A lot of people like bricks, they'll pick a brick because it's $12. I like these because they're a fun surprise. You get several things in them. You don't just get one. And um, I just think they're fun. So you can buy this through your consultant or um, if you don't have one, you could buy it under my website. And you do not have to get it every month. Like you don't have to sign up for it to come every month. You can just get it. If you do re watch reviews and see, oh, I really like that one, buy that one. For me, this was $15. And this is the first um, whiff box that I understand, from what I understand that they put um, one of the items that's in here in, which if you haven't seen a spoiler on this, don't watch. But if you already know and you've seen spoilers, then you know what I'm talking about. So this is how this looks when you open it. There's always a little flyer in here. I don't really care about the flyer maybe you do but it's supposed to give you different ideas of things to do and kind of what the theme of the box is so then once that flyers out this is what this looks like okay so super fun we have some scentsy air okay it looks like right on top here we have two samples of cloudberry dreams washer whiffs and these are a part of the laundry line so it's nice that's the other thing with the scent box. It kind of gives you um, a different array of things that maybe you wouldn't try normally. And you're like, I don't want to buy that. I haven't tried it. This gives you a chance to try those different things. And these you put in, it's kind of like the uh, scent boosters. You put them in when you're doing your laundry and it's supposed to give like a boost of scent. And that, they sell those in our regular line. So Cloudberry Dreams, that's actually a pretty strong scent and it's raspberry rose, peach and vanilla. And it is pretty strong. Okay, and then they always put all this purple in, which is nice. Maybe save it for your kids' Easter baskets. You know, looks like on top here we have two full-size bars. So these bars are $6 a piece. So right there, like I said again, I got this for $15. Shoreline Drive is one of the new scents. Super pretty packaging. And this is a very pretty blue color. I smelled this in my tester and this is one of the ones I really could not wait to get. And it says, take the scenic route with dewy greens and passion flower as sea mist guides the way. You definitely smell the passion or uh, sea mist. And then it does have a floral scent to it and the dewy. I, I, everything that this says is what it smells like. I smell a little bit of a citrusy note in there. This is super, super gorgeous. I love this. Love it. I loved it when I smelled the tester. I can't wait to warm it. I think it's going to be so pretty. A lot of people say it's like sand swept, and I think I have to agree. It's definitely like a stronger sand swept, which is also in the catalog. So Sunburst Bamboo is the other full-size bar. I don't know if my phone will focus. I kind of have a glare from the sun right now, but this is the scent of the month. And I wrote the um, description down and it's lush sunburst bamboo and crisp cucumber under a sheer canopy of peony offer a tranquil escape. So the scent of the month is always 10% off in everything that it comes in for that month. Sometimes the stuff lasts longer than the month, sometimes it doesn't. But once it goes past this month, it will be regular price. So this is my first time smelling this as well. So on cold right there, it smells light, but I think that it might end up being a good performer, but it smells like something. So definitely this underside, I get the peony. And then maybe that crisp cucumber on top. Yeah. I actually think this might be pretty good. If you like greener um, scents, fresh scents, 
I think you'll really like this. So that's in the box. So again, right now we're at $6 each for those. So they threw in a scent circle and Clementine Cupcake and Clementine Cupcake is a new scent in for this year. And it's like orange and um, cupcake notes, like, you know, vanilla batter and everything. So that'll be nice to be able to give you an idea of what the scent circles are like and um, what that smell would be like, like maybe you would like it in wax. So they threw in a catalog, which is great. So if you're somebody again, who's, you know, wants to see what's all in the catalog, this box is great because you get the catalog, you get two cents plus we get this warmer. So different regions get different warmers and we get the tie dye warmer. So I'm going to open that with you quick. I, that's the thing that they threw in that, um, you don't always like, this is one of the things they've never had in a box before. So let's open that up. And I have my little base here. This is a ceramic warmer. You always get this. You get this little thing, which I don't know about you. I never put it on. Now you'll get this base. I'm not going to use this today, but I will show you that people say, well, I can't use that. My outlet sideways, my outlet's this. This turns whichever way you need it to turn and it stops wherever you want it to stop. So you just push that little button. You have your on off switch and it comes with a light bulb. So you don't have to worry about that. I love this. I love the color of this. So let's see. Again, this is a ceramic warmer. Oh, look at the color of that dish. Oh, I love that blue. How pretty is this? And then on the bottom, this is how the ceramic ones are. I have here today a base that I got when I closed the party around Christmas time. So I remembered to get it out so that I could show you this warmer. The nice thing about these, they come with a light bulb. If they don't come with a light bulb, there was one in my box. So hopefully I'm not wrong, but I don't know if I put it in there or what, <laughs> but it was in there. So if you like to have um, you, this maybe on a counter, you don't have a place really that you wanna plug it in. Maybe you're afraid your plugs are too low and you don't want the dogs to get it or your cats. You can use these little tabletop. There's one for ceramic and one for glass and you can see the notches. So you're just gonna put that on there. And for some reason though, I'm awful. You don't have to turn it as far. Maybe that's why, okay. So we will try to light this up. Hopefully you can see it good. Oh, super pretty. Now you can see when it's lit, how it really glows. The tie dye gets lighter, but when I'm looking at it here, you can still tell it's blue. And then you have that dark blue top, but what's so nice, you'll get a little bit of light. This would be a perfect uh, night light because it is not super bright. It's really muted, super pretty. That is so cool that they threw this in this box. So that also gives you a chance to try out a warmer, you know, or this is such a nice um, gift. You could get that whole box. If there's somebody you know loves this type of thing, order the box as a gift. So I'm loving that. So that's a great box. Okay, so the very last thing we are going to do, and if you have any questions about this WIF box or Scentsy Club, just hit me up, hit up your consultant, whoever you go through, because they will help you out. The next thing is the Harry Potter. Now, I will tell you, I know nothing about Harry Potter other than just things I've seen. My kids, I don't believe, they were never really into Harry Potter, but all of the scents when I saw this intrigued me. So I pre-ordered the scents. I did not pre-order, I don't need the warmer. I have seen the, um, videos on the warmer and it looks like it's really neat for people who are into Harry Potter. Um, oh, I have two bars in here too. I'll go over those probably first. So let me do those real quick before I go on any further about Harry Potter. I also have this Big Hero 6. This is out right now and it's the Baymax movie. I have no idea what that is at all, but I thought, where did I put my thing? 
I thought this sounded lovely and I like to try the license bars just to give them a try. And when I read about the description of this, I'm like, yes, I have to have this one. Big Hero 6. And where did I put the, the description? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I thought I did. Well, I already know that it's got... Oh, wow. That's good. So, this has fruits in it and see marshmallow I must have cherry because I feel like I'm smelling some type of cherry I guess I didn't write it down shoot I thought it see I thought it was prepared I'm not that's gonna be lovely um, sometimes these are super light like I said but Oh, I think it's going to be good. It kind of, in a way, is reminding me of Keep It Sassy, which got the, I accidentally took out of my club and I'm super sad about. That brings me back to this bar, which I also ordered two more of this because even though you can still buy it, you can't put it in your club anymore. And when I was doing stuff with my club, I took some of these out. And right now I have um, two of them that I left in with Grace and Sweet But Fierce. And for some reason... I didn't put these other ones back in, so I lost my Dazzling um, Darling. God, this collection, the Glamorous You, a lot of people I don't think liked it. I loved it. I love it. And this is an orange, but they have like a um, bubble bath maybe type of scent. Almost like those oils, those little round... Um, ball things you used to throw in they were filled with oil and you put them in your bathtub and then they would dissolve oh, I love this collection love it and I'm so sad that I did that so I have two more bars coming with a party closeout so I think this Big Hero 6 if you like keep it sassy if you like any of the other fruit punch type scents um, cars any of those this has like a hint of marshmallow though in it I think you'll like it okay so sorry about all this we're gonna go to the Harry Potter collection Again, I don't know a lot about Harry Potter, but I thought that these would sound, these sounded really good. So this is how it comes. And there's gonna be four bars in it. And this is Hogwarts House's Scentsy Wax Collection, Wizarding World. And it's in like a treasure chest type suitcase box. Oh, wow. I wanted to open it up towards you so you could see it. Okay, it looks like there's a little paper there on top. Okay. When I think of this type of collection, I think it's going to be stuff I like because I love incense type things. And incense, I think, is magical. And that's what harry potter it's all about magic so i feel like they're going to be right up my alley it's like when they're like concocting recipes for spells you know or things like that i just think that that's what it's going to be like so first and if you know the characters i'm assuming that they design these scents um, based on how the characters are so i really don't know a lot about these characters at all but the first one we have is Gryffindor, Bravery and Determination. Bravery and Determination. So, oh, wow. On, as soon as I smell that, I get a smoky scent. I love smoky scents, by the way. I, I think because I grew up in a house that was heated with wood smoke. I really think that's why. I love the smell of a house that's heated by wood smoke. I love outside when I smell a fire, burning leaves, anything. I love it. Wow. So lemon zest, cinnamon leaf, amber. I love amber too. And smoky woods. Yes, 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 and yes. It's like a sweet, smoky smell. So you get the cinnamon, 
um, that sweetness from the amber and the smoky woods. And I love smoky woods smells, especially when they have a sweetness in them. Now, there's really just a hint of lemon in here. Just a hint. That is gorgeous. Look at the gorgeous color of wax. Wow. Okay, love that one. Okay, the next one is Hufflepuff. So if you know who Hufflepuff is, then we will see what he's supposed to be. Mm, wow. I See, I knew. I knew I would love this. I, I just knew. Because I, when I read the descriptions, I actually read them on uh, my honeymoon because we were in Ocean City and just had some downtime. And I was that's when the pre-order came out. And I read um, the descriptions. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely pre-ordering that because... I love those. This, I'm going to tell you something. This gives you a little bit of a casting um, spells vibes, but it's way better. So it's warm cinnamon sugar, which is what I said I felt like was kind of in casting spells. Golden apples, white hazelnut. I'm not sure what the difference is there. And whipped vanilla almond. Wow that it's like bakery but it's um actually a little perfumey it's which is probably that vanilla whipped vanilla and you do get a hint of that apple the golden makes me think that maybe it's like a baked type apple i mean i know there's like yellow apples but it's like more of a baked because you got that cinnamon sugar so it's not just sugar you have the cinnamon so it's a little spicy if you're scared though of almond, I don't feel like I get almond as much as I get more of a nutty type note. Super good, I'm loving, loving this. Okay, so the next one is Slytherin and it's Cunning in Ambition. So beautiful, beautiful green wax. This sounds like it's gonna be a real deep Oh, wow. Real deep, like, scent, like a rich scent. So it's deep blackberry, dark chocolate, fresh oak moss, and crisp leather. Now, I don't smell like chocolate, like you're going to open up a Hershey bar chocolate, okay? This smells, you get the leather, but with the leather, it's got a sweetness to it. So this is like a masculine scent for sure. And the oak moss, I feel like I can smell. I don't, I'm sure that blackberry is really just kind of mixed in there because you do get a little bit of the blackberry like in blackberry berry vanilla that we have. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. Guys, these, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous collection. If you love this type of scent, you will go crazy. And it's such a beautiful layout of how this is. This next one is Ravenclaw. Like, I wish I would have got another one. So I hope that it comes, like, because right now they had to fill the pre-orders. And then they're saying, I believe that they'll release more if they have it. Um, so hopefully it comes out. If it does, you might want to jump on this. And I so hope, so hope we can put them in our club. Okay, so Ravenclaw, I'm sorry. This is a beautiful blue. Oh, look at that blue wax. This is Wit and Wisdom. Such deep, rich, beautiful colors. So look at that. It almost makes me want to watch the movie now so that I can see. Smooth Vanilla, Airy White Musk, Inset Spite Sandalwood, and Mahogany Woods. This this one okay what's very weird to me is this to me smells like leather it smells like a new car leather if you like it um if you did you ever walk into just a leather store like maybe a motorcycle shop someplace that smell sells all leather and it this smells like you walked into one of those, but somebody has, maybe there's like a 
tobacco or a cigar shop somewhere or maybe the dude that's at the counter smells like that i don't know but this is gorgeous this is gorgeous oh, wow oh i love this i'm so excited about these it, it, this, huh. okay definitely like a new car leather type smell but with some type of a like a cigar or something in there a sweet cigar smell not like stale cigar okay so don't get me wrong there cigar pipe tobacco that type of thing that's that's what this smells like it's probably that airy white musk because when you first get it when it first hits your nose when you first there is an airiness to it like if i can describe how airiness smells when you smell it this is wonderful seriously if you can get your hands on this get your hands on it i want to do this the way that it was in the thing to be able to show you this collection i think you will love if you love those type of scents oh, wow i'm so excited so so excited okay so i think that's everything i have for you the new catalog's out. It's uh, going right now. Everything um, is available. So be sure to check that out. Um, let me know. I'm going to do probably here within the next couple days what I've been warming video because I do have a lot of that stuff. Um, a lot of stuff I've been doing. So because I've been sampling out all these different new things I got. I have more to do. Obviously, you saw that today. So everybody have a great day. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you've been melding. I'd love to hear no matter what type of wax, where it's from. I'd love to hear it. And everybody have a, and also if you picked this up in the pre-order, let me know what you think because I think this is going to be a winner. So everybody have a great day and it's Super Bowl Sunday. So enjoy the Super Bowl if that's something you like to do. And I will talk to you later. Thank you.